Hello everybody, welcome to this short session on Thumoptin software. Let us say you have downloaded the Thumoptin software from internet and you have installed it on your computer. Then how you can open this installed software and then how you can use it let us see. Of course the other method of using the software is directly from Electromeet. So in that case this opening method instructions will not be applicable. You can directly use the method as to how to use this software. Now I have uh, already downloaded this software from internet. Now when I downloaded it then I installed this software. After installing this Thermoptim demo icon was created on desktop. Now let me try to open this. When I open this you will notice that a compressed, let me close this, when you open this you will notice that a compressed folder gets opened out. Now it becomes confusing as to which file should be opened. So what we have to do here at the top you can see we have got this folder that is highlighted in blue color. Double click on this and open it. So when I open it a number of other files will be opened. Now what we have to do is we have to search for exe file that is the application file. So here as you can see we have got this top2.exe that is application file. We have to double click on this to open this Thermoptin software. So let me double click on this. As soon as I double click on this you will notice that the software opens out. Two windows will open out. The diagram editor window has to be closed. This is the main window that we will be needing. This is the uh, window that will help in have help us in putting the various parameters. So now we, what we have to do is we have to select the points. So here as you can see we have got the points option. Here this is the point name. To input the points double click on this that is point name. So I'll double click on this point name. As soon as I double click on this you will be asked to name this project. That Since this project is related to refrigeration so what I'll do is name this as refrigeration. Okay now I'll press on this button that is OK. Now as you will notice a new window will open out. This is related to the description of the point. <clears throat> so this is the first point related to the compressor. Let us say this is the input point. So let us say this is point 1. So this is the inlet side of the compressor. The substance or the gas used in this case is let us say R134A. Remember you have to put it carefully since this is case sensitive. If you put it differently for point 2 then they will not match. So for each of the point you have to put this value correctly. Now after putting this value press enter button. <coughs> if you don't press the enter button then your uh, the then the software will not be able to take these values. So press this enter button. Now let us go to the data that we have to put. Let us say first we have to put the input pressure. Let us say this input pressure is 2 bar. Then we have to input the value of temperature at the input that is 0 0.1. Let us say this temperature is 7 degree Celsius. So we have given point as name 1, <coughs> gas name as R134A, pressure 2 bar, temperature 7 degree Celsius. Now press this button that is save. So now I'll press save. As soon as I press this save button you will notice that here yeah, point 1 has been created. This is the substance, this is input pressure and this is temperature.
now i have to input second point for this again click on this point name double click on it so as soon as i double click on it again this point window will be opened out now this is the output point from the compressor let us say this is point 2 let us give the name of substance as R134A. So remember, this is case sensitive, so its name should be very should be similar in cases also to point one. After inputting this value, press enter button. Let us say the output pressure from this compressor is 12 bar. Now the output temperature is not known to us, so we will leave this value as default. Now since these values, so this is point 2, substance R134A, pressure 12 bar, let us keep the temperature default and then press this button that is save. As soon as you press this, you will notice second point has been created with again substance R134A, pressure 12 bar temperature default value so we have input the data related to the compressor now comes the next part that is related to the compressor itself now we'll go to the processes part what is this process this process is a compression process so to select this process again we have to double click on this that is process name so i'll double click on this process name so what is this processor this processor there are various types of processes so here this particular process is compression process so let us select this compression process press on ok button now as soon as you do this then you have to now name this process let us say this process is compressor okay now for this compressor you have to <coughs> give the input data so what is the input data for this click on this inlet point double click on this inlet point as soon as i double click on this inlet point the various points that were created previously they will be opened out so this is inlet point the inlet point is point number one so let us select that and click ok so we have selected the inlet point to the compressor now we have to select the outlet point here yeah, as you can see this is the outlet point so for this again double click on this again the various points will open out that we created previously now i'll in this case outlet point is point number two so i'll select point number two so now i'll press ok so this is the compressor process this is the inlet point corresponding to point one outlet point corresponding to point two now here we have got isentropic efficiency let us say isentropic efficiency is 0 0.9 okay then we have to select this option that is set the efficiency and calculate the process it is already selected so let us keep it as it is so we have input these values we have named the compressor process we have given the input point output point we have given the uh, isentropic efficiency then selected this option now what we'll do is we'll press on this calculate button so as soon as i press on this calculate button the values will be generated so for this point one as you can see we already had the temperature and pressure for point two the outlet temperature can be found out that is 73.53 degrees celsius then similarly the polytropic exponent in this case is as you can see is 1.05 so that is the these are the values that we were needed for us use these and perform the practical part i hope everybody has been able to follow this thank you very much for joining me for this session